upper school science teacher at Woodlawn. Eighth grade is physics. And so we did this egg drop lab and the parameters were, I gave them monopoly money. I had materials and they had to pay for materials. The materials I had were stuff you can find around the house. I had paper, plastic bags. I had, I think bubble wrap and uh, tape and string. We mainly use popsicle sticks and use a foam cup and a paper cone cup and crumple that paper to cushion it. And we use a lot of tape. We use streamers, bubble wrap, string, um, a plastic bag to hold everything together, napkins, and um, it's like coffee filters for padding. Let's see, so Jack made a sketch here. Yes. We used our egg, of course, bubble wrap, a bunch of napkins, tape, and paper. Basically, they're doing this to solve for impulse. That's what momentum is. Impulse is the collision. So when you're hitting something, if you have more of a cushion, it takes uh, more time for that uh, egg or whatever is in there to hit the ground. And so if you increase your time, your force is gonna go down. So we talk about the inverse relationship. And so this was like the equation they had. And so then, then they had to solve for it. So they had to mass everything and then they had to solve for velocity and the T of the collision. The T of the collision, we talked about the crumple zone. Better the crumple zone, least likely that egg was gonna crack. And so the more cushion it had, the more time it took for that egg to hit that ground, it was gonna decrease that force. Um, so this is a nigiri uh, egg drop design. So this is the tuna and this is the seaweed. And originally my design was to use marshmallows and bubble wrap, but since that's too heavy and I wanna create the least amount of force onto the concrete, I made a bubble wrap design that is only 100-ish grams and it's very light and airy. So some of them succeeded, some of them didn't. What were your results of the egg drop challenge and what would you do differently? The results of the egg drop challenge was that our egg cracked in half. We would probably just add more padding and make sure it's secure. Well, it did not crack. It survived. Um, well, one of the popsicle sticks broke, so I think it took all the force instead of the egg. So a way to modify this, you can always get them to be creative with it. Um, so many people looked online and saw popsicle sticks or they saw other things, but I wanted I wanted them to think kind of outside the box. So they had to do a sketch and they had to tell me the materials and why they used them. And then they had to do the math and I had to see the improvements that they made. So they had to do a trial run. We got the plastic cups and we compacted the egg and the egg carton. And then we put these paper cones to um, kind of... To make the crumple zone? To make the crumple zone, yes. To make sure um, the impact is less on the egg in that type And of that is actually thing. what helped us today because our actual contraption itself, due to the paper cones we made, it barely touched the ground. Yeah. Now let's open it up. To see whether the egg cracked or not? Yes. Unboxing the meat. So, take off the tuna. Oh, and the tape. This is um, saran wrap around it, so make sure the, it was all enclosed. And then this is the bubble wrap inside that I used. I coated this with saran wrap in case it broke, and it did not. Um, I've learned that um, certain materials have a certain density compared to others, and that for egg drops, it's always good to have something light and airy rather than something dense, because for weight, you want the least amount of force to hit the ground. And you also want it to be bigger and slower I think the purpose of this to understand a collision is understanding time and force. That's basically, those are the two components. So whatever you have at your home, at your house, build a contraption, drop it from where you are. There's like playgrounds you have outside. Go outside, there's a playground or in a tree, you'll have tree houses and drop it. And do a contest with your friends and see who can have an egg that maybe doesn't crack and if it does crack you can figure out okay what can i do next time to not make it crack okay you can make improvements and make it make it fun compete compete with your friends 
see how high you can go up. Don't, don't hurt yourself, but <laughs> at home, wherever heights you have, drop it and see, see what you can do to increase your time by the padding based on what you have around the house.